Alrighty folks, today we're at Olean Creek. My dad's going to be bait fishing, seeing if he can catch some carp or suckers or something. I'm going to throw around lures, see if I can catch some bass or some pike. Water's still very low, which is the bad news. Good news is uh, it's finally starting to cool off out here on the southern tier. So hopefully the pike will start uh, fighting and moving around again as well as the smallmouth. And uh, well as well as the rough fish like the suckers and stuff. So um, we're hoping for a decent day, but we really don't know. And uh, we'll see what we can catch. Aw oh, man, he bit through my line. Yeah, right there. <laughs> uh, I should have been using a steel leader. That was a uh, pike came out of nowhere. Well, I think that was bigger than the other one. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. I didn't get that on film either. He broke the line right when the camera turned on. Ugh. Okay, we're going to try again. I got a steel leader on this time, which I debated about the first time around and decided to go without it. That little pike just inhaled the whole thing and cut right through the line. That's right when I started the camera is when he got off. But we'll see if he can help bite again. This one's an identical spinner, only it's, it's orange and black instead of black and yellow. Um, so hopefully he'll hit it. Can you pick up your tackle box not realizing it's unzipped? Oh boy, I don't even know how to get to this thing. Good thing that floated. Whoa. I'm falling, I'm falling. Good thing I wore my muck boots today. It was a disaster. No, this has not been a good day. Not been a good day of fishing. Oh, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm going into the water. I'm gonna be in the water in a second. There I go. This has not been a good day whatsoever. Whew. Poor, good, clean, organized tackle box. Yeah, that mud smells too. P.U. that mud smells. Oh boy. This is a disaster. Total disaster over here. Oh, we're back at the local pond. My dad's doing some bait fishing for bullhead. They've been biting. Uh, I'll do that once it starts getting dark. Right now I'm going to try doing a little bass fishing. This pond's pretty pressured. I uh, don't normally catch much here, but it was around this time of year when I caught that four and a half pounder last year. So uh, pressure goes off a little bit when it starts getting cold and uh, the bass get hungry. So let's see, maybe we'll catch one. No, no, bit me off. <laughs> that was a big fish. That was a big freaking fish. I just had a big pike bite through my line for the second time in a row. This exact same thing happened yesterday at Olean Creek. And uh, I put a steel leader on after that. Um, I just took the steel leader off before I started fishing here because, I mean, this is such a pressured pond, you can't use a steel leader here. But, um, yeah, I'm going to throw the Cinco back in there and see if he's, uh, see if he's dumb enough to bite again. Sometimes pike are. Uh, the pike that I missed yesterday that got my spinner was not dumb enough to bite again. But uh, we'll see. Maybe this one will be. See if he'll bite again. You never know. Big bass. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Had a pike bite through my line, just missed a big bass. At least that one I got on film this time. She after that pike bit through my line, I was reluctant to let him take it too long. I didn't want to have another pike bite through my line. My dad's starting to catch fish like crazy. I'm still uh fishing's really picking up in this, so it's just a bluegill. Anyway, well there's that, and he called me over to film this big giant yellow bullhead that he caught. Oh, nice, he's hooked right in the mouth too. I'm a lot bigger, but... Well, yeah, it's gotten bigger, but still a, a decent sized one for this little pressured pond, 10 inches. Nice. Anyhow. I just caught another even bigger one. Sheesh. Well, I guess I should start bait fishing. That's a brown one. Okay, that one's a brown, the last one was a yellow. Yes. You can tell by the yellows have a more rounded tail, and yeah, so this is back like to there, I think. I gotcha. Nice. You know, it looks yellow. Yeah. But I'm going to stick with the yellow one for that trophy, because that was nice yeah. and gold. My dad's entering an internet contest where he has to take a picture of the fish he catches next to a picture. 
Well, I guess I'm going to start heading back. Man, this should have been an excellent day with uh, missing that big pike. And that big bass, big pike I missed right here. At least that bass I think I got on film. You saw I missed him on that side. Uh, crazy. It's sort of a miracle. I, from just looking at this place uh, on the camera, if you're not familiar with this place, you might think this looks like a decent place to fish. But if you saw this place during the summer, there's just dozens of people fishing here on any given evening, keeping every little fish they catch. And if you've ice fished these ponds, you know that uh, they're only two and a half to three and a half feet deep everywhere. The deepest point is four feet deep right in front of that tube there. And everywhere else, it's two and a half to three and a half feet deep. It's a miracle that there's fish in these ponds at all. Looks like a decent one. Drop him under the light so you can see on the camera. Yeah, it's another decent sized one. Or here anyway. Talking. How many inches? Twelve inches. All right. Well, I my dad's got a fish on, and I guess I'll stay casted out for another minute. Is it actually snagged or is it no, tangled? Not, yeah, it's just tangled around him. Me. I'm yet to catch a fish. We're reeling in, and my dad's reeling in a second pole. There's a bullhead on that one, too, apparently. All right, well, while you're bringing that in, I'm casting out that way. I'm still shut out. Jeez. I think that's the biggest one to the night yet. No, so. well, maybe not quite. Another decent-sized bullhead. All right, last chance. There's not a fish on here. I'm shut out, and I am officially skunked. Dad beat me today, bait fishing. I had my chances though. Two pike in a row bit through my line, two different spots, and I missed that big bass that I got on film. Oh well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.